Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of FIFA Battle. And as you can see today, we have got Aguero and Dybala. That is today's FIFA Battle that I have selected. Now, the reason I chose this FIFA Battle is because I've been playing a lot with Dybala recently and uh, I just love him. For me, he is one of my favourite players and I've played a lot with Aguero. So I thought pairing these two up in a FIFA Battle would be great. We did Aguero in the last FIFA Battle and I really, really enjoyed him. And, I, and I've really, really enjoyed playing with Dybala recently. So I I thought let's do a FIFA battle between them and see who is the ultimate Argentine striker. You can see the two cards combined and um, they've got very similar cards, you know, similar pace, similar shooting, similar passing, similar physical and uh, pretty much identical dribbling and defending. So they're very, very similar players. I thought this would be a very good FIFA battle. You can see the price wise Aguero is nearly double the price of Davala pretty much I think just because he's from the BPL, you know, a bit, a bit more of a popular league. It's got the uh, edge on the four star weak foot, both have four star skills. High medium work rates for Aguero, medium medium work rates for Dabala, which would mean Dabala would probably be a very very good cam and Aguero has got the perfect work rates for me in my opinion as a striker. And the heights are very very similar as well. Traits Dabala really does murder Aguero. You see he's got avoid using weak foot which is not the best but it means that he's going to stick to that bullet of a left foot he's got. Finesse shot, flair, playmaker, technical dribbler, corner specialist and takes finesse style free kick so he's got a lot of traits. Also got dribbler, acrobat and clinical finisher specialities which is very very important for a striker. Aguero has the same specialities, injury prone, tries to beat defensive line, flair and technical dribbler. So Dabala probably has the edge in terms of the in-game stats. But in terms of the card stats, they are very, very similar. But this was the team that we were using them in. So you can see they're, they're both obviously injured up front. This this was a screenshot taken after I played the games. I was playing with Alejandro Gomez at Cam off chemistry. But, you know, it doesn't really matter too much. He's, uh, he's a phenomenal player as well. And then Gundogan, uh, Henderson and Eriksen as a midfield. Bellerin, by Smalling, Alonso and Butland as the team. So a very, uh, very average team, some might say, at this stage of FIFA. But it's a good team. It's a team that I used a little bit uh, recently and uh, I do get on quite well with it. Now into the gameplay we go and it was a very very good FIFA battle. I'm really glad I chose these two. Obviously uh, played with, with both of them uh, separately a lot recently and it was such a fun. I tell you I've never played with two strikes. I've never created so many chances in the space of five games. Like honestly you, the, you'll see the stats and the goals at the end that they scored. You could have doubled it like genuinely you could have doubled it what a finish there from Dybala and that's one of the reasons I love him you don't get that sort of finish with uh, with too many other players on a consistent basis he uses 88 recently I've been using his 88 inform I played about 160 games with his 88 inform and I've got 185 goals and 99 assists with his 88 inform and that's at cam that's with Ronaldo and Higuain up front and that was with him at cam that is phenomenal. A goal to game ratio with someone at Cam and to nearly get 100 assists as well, just for me, proves how good Dybala is. But I created so many chances with these two. And I think that's because, you know, Dybala is passing is, is quite low on his card, but it feels so much better than that. It really does. The amount of piercing passes he makes through defences is unbelievable. You can see a great run here from deep from Dybala. Nice give and go with Gomez. Gomez dribbles with it a little bit, plays in Ericsson. I think it ends up back through to Dybala. What a run there from deep and he finishes off the move that he started. And you know Dybala for me is finishing is just next level. Like you see, he didn't have, it was probably Aguero that had most of the chances. And it was genuinely Aguero could have scored more goals than what he did. But Dybala was so clinical. He didn't have a lot of shots. But every shot he here had seemed to go in, you know, it really was that good. His finishing is just, for me, just phenomenal. And Aguero as well, his fin finishing is really good as well. He could, it, not quite as good, he could have scored more goals than what he did. But, you know, good little bits of movement there, good little cutback to Gomez. And again, having someone like Gomez there to finish off a move like that is, uh, is really nice as well. But this is going to be it for the gameplay. Let's go and see who won this Argentine FIFA battle. So as you can see, the stats on the screen for the FIFA battle. And after the five games, it was Aguero that just edged the goals, getting nine goals to uh, Dybala's eight. And it genuinely could have been double that for both of them. The amount of chances that I had 
and uh, I haven't played a lot of FIFA recently in sort of the last week so I might have been a little bit rusty I missed some chances that normally I would put away and it genuinely could have been double that I had so many chances that I could have scored each of these two could have easily gotten 15 goals there was that many chances that they created it was just phenomenal and you can see Dybala got nine assists which just shows how many chances I created and that Alejandro Gomez scored a lot of goals as well that's why Dybala got so many assists Aguero only getting two assists um, but you see Dybala's rate 9.7 as an average rating is insane and then 9.3 for Aguero but the win goes to Dybala and just his all round play you know I've given him a 10 out of 10 for me he's the best player in this game I know people disagree and say it's Suarez or it's Ronaldo or it's Messi or whatever but for me in terms of the players that I've used I've, I've not used a better player than Dybala you know his finishing is the, for me the best in the game other than team of the year Suarez he has the best finishing in the game he really really does he's, he's, he finishes everything every shot he sees to take goes in you know whether he's from 30 yards out whether he's from 15 yards out any sort of angle he just always seems to be he just seems to be one of those players that just always seems to put it away everything just seems to go in and uh, Aguero is similar to him not quite on the same level in terms of his finishing I don't think Aguero created as many chances as you can see by the assist and I think Dybala playing at cam would probably be his best role is it is at cam you know his finishing and his long shots and uh, just his ability to create chances even though his passing is so low he's just uh, an unbelievable player and for me the best player in the game as you can see, you can vote A or B in the comments of section which one you want to see in the next episode of FIFA Battle. Make sure you leave a like to keep supporting this series. Make sure you do subscribe as well if you are new to the channel. And that's all for today, guys. Have an awesome day. I'm out.